Hey everybody, Mad Old Man here, and I'm here to tell you, there's too many men, there's too many people, causing too many problems, there's not much left to go around, can't you see, this is a land of confusion, this is the intro to prepping, stay with me. guys so if you know what band what song that quote is from please write it in the description awesome awesome one awesome song I'd like to talk to you today about prepping um, whatever the reason may be for you to get into it whether it's from watching my videos or other survivalists on YouTube or you've just come to a realization that you need to have a backup plan you need to have a real concrete physical insurance policy whatever it is how do you start prepping? A lot of us um, go about it the wrong way, and, and it, I, I kind of I'm guilty of that also. You know, a lot of people have the the initial freak out where you don't know what to do. You feel like you need to prepare like right now. You're scrambling. You really don't know how to do it yet, and you buy just loads of stuff. And that's that's the wrong way to go about it. Okay, you probably have time. So don't worry about it. Try to just take a deep breath. And as in all things, you know, like like when I tell people in my survival courses, if there's an emergency, what's the first thing you do? As long as you're not in immediate danger, what's the first thing you do if you figure out you're lost? You just sit down. You sit down, you calm down, and you try to think it out before you go anywhere, before you move anywhere else to get lost worse. So I'm going to do the same thing, apply the same principle to this. Um, when I think about all the different possible scenarios, whether you're plugging in, plugging out, um, it makes sense to me that being that you don't know if you're gonna be in a situation where you're gonna bug in or bug out, if there is one thing that you can do to prepare for both possible outcomes, then that is the one, that is, that is the magic one to do, okay? And for me, that is the bug out bag, or in this case, it might even be the get home bag. So let me explain that, all right? The bug out bag, if you if you put together your bug out bag properly, it can be a huge asset to you. Man, the potholes, I'm sorry. Not only if you bug out, but it can be a huge asset to you if you bug in also, because think about it, it's, it's got shelter, it's got things to purify water, it's got food, it's got ways to power your electronics, um, it's got first aid, um, all, all the different things, communications. It's got all the stuff you need that you can use in a bug out, but also in a bug in scenario. And yeah, if you're bugging in, you're gonna need to replenish the supplies, you're gonna need more food, more water, all that. But it gives you a base, and it gives you one spot that you have all the stuff in one spot, ready to roll. And in an emergency, you don't need to scramble and figure out where you put things, they're buried in the attic or in the basement, or or whatever, you've got it in one spot. And your bug out bag should be accessible at all times. It shouldn't be buried away somewhere. Some people keep their bags um, near the door. Some people keep it next to their bed, under their bed, in their closet. And then uh, finally, some people keep it in their car at all times. I don't keep my main bug out bag in the car. And uh, I choose to have a separate bag that I keep in the car which is a type of bug out bag, but I call it a get home bag. And it's a little bit different, you know, when you when you start looking up all the different types of bug out bags, um, it kind of branches off and there's all different categories of it. There's bug out bags, 72 hour bags, which are designed for specifically keeping you afloat for 72 hours. There's get home bags, there's inch bags, there's all these different bags, and then there's all different names for kind of like the same thing, all right? Um, the get home bag, more specifically, I keep in the car because I travel a lot for work. Like right now, I'm going uh, to a customer's that is about an hour from my house. Sometimes I go several hours away. I go over 100 miles away, and I know that if there was an emergency and I had to walk home, that is a problem. So I keep a bag that no matter what the distance is, I can handle it and have the supplies I need in, in case I need to walk home. Um, and that's no good if it's in the house, you know, it's got to be in the car and it's got to be in the car at all times. Some people have 
a get home bag or a bug out bag or a 72 hour bag that they just keep with them. If it's if they're at home, it's at home. If they're in the car, it's in the car. If they're at work, they bring it into work and put it on the floor of their office or whatever with them. Um, because of my lifestyle and my profession, you know, I work for myself, um, I choose to just have one that stays home, one that stays in the car. It's just easier that way. I know where they are at all times. And um, this get home bag that I have, while it is specifically to get home, it's also a bug out bag. It's a full fledged bug out bag, and it's a damn good one. And uh, the only difference between it being only to get home versus a 72 hour bag or versus um, infinite as far as time, you know, how long it'll support you, is really it's, you know, it, it, it's two things. It's a little bit of the gear. Better gear will help you a lot, make things a lot faster and easier for you. But the main thing is the skill. You've, you've got you've to have the skill. You've got to gain skills now. You've got to practice with your gear. That's a big, big deal. And that can make all the difference. So, um, in my opinion, the way to start prepping, and, and the number one way, the best way by far, because it covers everything, is to make this one bag. That should be your priority. That should be the first thing you do. That's what I've been telling people for years now. So, whether it's a bug out bag or a get home bag, no matter where you keep it, depending on you know if, if your lifestyle is similar to mine, or if you're a student, or if you work from home, or whatever, you know you, you want to have a bag put together. And where you decide to keep it is up to you, as long as it's accessible and as long as it's with you when you need it. And those are the two most important things, guys. So. Hope you take this to heart. Uh, please leave your comments below. Hope you liked the video. Hope you found it useful. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to Animal Man Survivor. And guys, I've got a Patreon page. If you want to help support me, it's a buck a month. I've got exclusive content on there. I'm real excited about it. We're going to be doing some really cool things on there. And uh, all my YouTube videos get posted at least one day early and ad-free on there. So please check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I can really use your support, guys, on getting this thing moving. And it's uh, patreon.com slash Yattleman Survivor. See you soon.